Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Martin. Make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, click the bell icon to get notifications whenever I release new videos. And regarding today's topic, I will be talking uh, about what's in store for this channel in the near future. By the way, remember how I mentioned in one of my previous videos that uh, summer is apparently over here in Germany? Well, I guess it was taking a vacation during September because right now in October it's 24 degrees, it's super hot and it's, it's a surprisingly nice weather outside. So let's get back on the topic of the day. Uh, it's been almost a month since I posted a video, I had some delays sort of say. I was finishing a project at work and I was fully occupied with that and I didn't have a lot of uh, free time. I, I knew that after I finished that project I would have more time to get, get back into my videos. So what I did during that time regarding this channel was to think uh, am I following the, the, the plan I had in the beginning with it and um, to some extent that's true i as i said in my initial video the goal for this channel was to share my knowledge experience with you guys and i've been doing it so far but it was related only to the topic of life in germany and i've been digging into some options and soon i will start posting videos with tutorials regarding uh, photoshop for example and some tips and tricks for uh, newbie photographers, people who are just getting into photography, uh, as well as people uh, that just like photography in general. That doesn't mean you have to have an expensive camera. There would be special videos like, for example, uh, tips for making your phone photography better since uh, phone cameras are getting better and better. Uh, as well as I've planned some collaborations in the future. Shout out to the No Small Creators uh, group. I've met some really amazing people from there and uh, we're planning some collaboration videos in the near future as well. I will continue posting as well new videos re regarding life in Germany, tips about Germany, that stuff as well as I did it until now. Uh, since we're getting into a bit of a dead season uh, right now in terms of uh, events there is not that much to cover uh, until Christmas at least uh, and um, so I will be focusing more on indoor videos and uh, that's why I wanted to do some uh, Photoshop tutorials and stuff like that and as well I will share Premiere Pro tips I'm not super good at it uh, but I do learn everyday new things uh, which are sometimes hard to find how to do or understand in general so uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to uh, wonder and uh, have uh, the same problems as me regarding Premiere and might be helpful for you. Also one thing I got inspired by the recent videos I made like for, uh, for the uh, Nuremberg Folk Fest and the, the ones for Faber Castell and Stein is to make sort of a mini series and uh, show you different uh, things around Nuremberg, inside Nuremberg, because I haven't found a lot of them uh, online. And uh, definitely this is a, a, a town in an area that is worth checking out. It has really amazing and interesting places. So this is also in store in the future to make more, more of a cinematic, uh, more of a cinematic travel guide for the area uh, and include a little bit of uh, interesting information for the places. If you still haven't watched those videos, you can go and see what I actually mean. And speaking about the Stein video, one thing that really uh, impressed me, uh, maybe if, even if you watched it, you missed this uh, part. Uh, so I'm just going to play it now and you can see. You can see the uh, distance between the vehicle in front and the truck. The person in the truck uh, thought that I was uh, making a photo and intentionally left more space so he doesn't get in the way and uh, this is something uh, really astonishing for me that people here, I don't know whether it's because they don't, just don't want to get uh, inside a random guy's photo or because they're self-aware uh, and uh, don't uh, want to ruin uh, someone's photo 
uh, but I've seen this a lot here in Germany, cars stopping and letting you take a photo and then passing by. This is this is a uh, really, really interesting uh, thing about Germany and uh, it hasn't happened for the first time. And one thing I uh, want to add here, this happens only when it's not uh, causing any problems for the traffic, for example, if if there is a traffic jam or there, there are no other cars on the road. Yeah, this video is going to be a little bit short, uh, but I want to ask you guys if there is something you would like to see on this channel, leave, leave a comment below, any topics, uh, any questions you have regarding Germany or uh, the other topics uh, that I mentioned, like Photoshop, like um, photography, as well as the automotive industry. Uh, I did um, a couple of videos on that. I am open to commenting on topics that are um, publicly released or announced, like uh, for example the diesel ban uh, that I did a video. If you didn't watch it, here is a link over here, you can check it out. And yeah, we'll see each other soon. I will be posting as until now one video per week. And uh, if again, if you haven't done it, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon in order to get notifications whenever I release videos or follow me uh, on Facebook, Instagram, links are in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and see you soon, bye.